video. We are going to be reviewing Makeup Revolution's Velvet Kiss Lip Crayons. They launched 12 different shades. They run for $7. And we're going to try them out and just see, you know, how sheer of the application is it, how buildable is it, and can we really create that bold lip with these lip crayons? Because apparently on their website it talks about how it's supposed to give us a sheer finish, but we can build the color to our liking and these are also cruelty free so I'm really happy about that and I just want to really see you know how much of your point is there in these lip crayons for us to have control of lining our lips and building in color so I hope you guys enjoyed today's review as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this and it really does help out my channel and as always let's go ahead and jump on in and try out these lip crayons. So the first lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on it is called Cupcake, and it does have like a crayon. Oh, it's very pigmented, you guys. <laughs> it does have like a point to it, so I do like that. I'll show you right now the packaging. I'm just watching it so you, like, so you guys can see. Um, but here is how the packaging is looking. So there's a point to it, kind of like a pencil, so I really like that. So you can definitely like line your lips if you really wanted to. Here is the, the lip swatch. So it's a very pretty uh, bubblegum pink. I really like it. It's very pigmented, you guys. So I'm surprised it's saying that there's a sheer finish to it. So we'll see once we apply it on and just, you know, maybe it applies differently when you apply it on your lips. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and try on Cupcake. swatch on this is called white wedding and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it and it's a very pretty mauve color but it does have like a rosy undertone to it so it's very pretty very unique I really like this I don't have anything quite like this in my my lip collection <laughs> so I'm very happy to get this one and it's gliding on really nicely it does feel really moisturizing and it has a really pretty finish without looking matte like has like a kind of like a satin finish. So you guys, let's go ahead and try on White Wedding. For the third lip color, we're gonna go ahead and try on it. This one is called Chauffeur. <laughs> I'm pretty pretty sure that's how you pronunciate it and I've already swatched it in the back of my hand It is the prettiest nude lip color. I absolutely really love it you guys These are gliding on really nicely to be honest It doesn't feel dry the consistency and it has a pretty finish to it So so far hopefully they're looking good on our lips. So let's go and try on chauffeur lip color we're gonna go ahead and try on fling <laughs> and this one I'm hoping oh yeah it's the prettiest terracotta color like caramel this is perfect for fall now that we're moving into fall so I can't wait to try this one on and here is the swatch so pretty and pigmented so you guys let's go ahead and try on fling for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's swatches. As for these lip colors, to be honest, I feel like $7 is definitely worth what you're getting for. I'm sure that there'll be a sale or something, especially right now, that you can probably find at Ulta that you can take advantage and maybe get a, you know, a little discount. Um, they are really pigmented. They're definitely buildable, but they're very pigmented in just one swatch. So I don't know why they talked about like a really light finish <laughs> to them. Um, but I really like the consistency. It dries out really quickly. It's not even transferring in the back of my finger so I really like that it feels really velvety and soft but it still has a pretty like kind of matte finish and I really like it it doesn't feel sticky it feels really powdery and I really like the three shades that I have right here the three colors that I really liked is chauffeur fling and the other one is called white wedding to be honest I didn't notice any patchiness with the 
applying these three shades on. It was really easy, it glided really nicely, and I had an even application. I do really like the point to these lip crayons. It was really nice to feel like if you wanted to, you can line your lips with it. That's a really nice perk. And these are perfect everyday lip colors. I feel like this is something that most people could wear and it would complement a lot of different skin complexions. And I really like them. As for the shade Cupcake, the really bright pink, you guys, I didn't realize how bright <laughs> this pink was until I applied her on and I was like, whoa, this is really bright. This is brighter than anything I think I've ever tried or I'm used to. But it is a really pretty color. The only thing with Cupcake is that it wasn't applying evenly on my lips. I did notice like it was you know sticking it to certain areas more than others for some reason as much as I press them together and apply, tried to apply a little bit more it wasn't you know there wasn't a really an even application I feel like in certain dry areas on my lips it was just sticking more in those areas than others and to be honest I'm you know been applying <laughs> chapstick throughout the day and yesterday especially because I knew I was going to film so it was a little weird and inconsistent I didn't really like that so that's the only thing this is like my least favorite lip color but it's still really pretty very vibrant very pigmented and not bad for seven dollars um, but this is pretty much it you guys if you have any questions please comment down below I'll do my best to answer your questions for you as much as I can and as always you guys please don't don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one it really does help out my channel and as always I will see you all in my next review I love you guys so much bye